But Rashford been put on the left, the the right hand side, which is his weakest position. Greenwood isn't delivering on a regular enough basis. Cavani's missing these big chances. He isn't this one one type one chance one finisher type player. Martial King came on early, had an opportunity. Is it wrong though? And I want to go first back to uh, KJ. Is it wrong to take our most informed attacker? out of his best position and stick him on the right, but keep playing all the others in their natural position where they're not delivering. You've got a squad and your best player is playing. You, you got to play him in their best position. And you say to the other ones, if you want to get into this team, here is where you play. You need to stop, we need to stop accommodating these players who are out of form in their favourite positions because, oh, let's see if it works. No, Rash is playing best on the left. Play him in the left. Whoever wants to fill up right on spot, you'll go fight for that because that's what's open right now. Yeah. But we shouldn't even be in this position. We shouldn't even have the, the, the predicament of who do we play on the right hand side because we should have a right winger. I'm not letting this go. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not letting this go. People say, oh, it's not the right time to talk about the ownership, Woodward, Glazers. When is the right time then? When is, when is the right time? That is the question. I, I, I agree. I agree completely. I, I, I Look, I agree with you that we need someone in that position. And, and I think putting the pressure on it being Diallo, putting the pressure on mm. Palestri, and these men is stupid. They're young. We, we, we shouldn't be doing that. Man United have never bought 18-year-olds to come in and be match winners straight away. That kind of notion is, is, is foolishness. It really is. But why is Oli? And I've got to have yeah, a go at Oli. No, I agree, I agree, the most yep. potent player we have in attack and putting him in his weakest position. It's, it, it's brain dead from he Oli. It's brain dead. He has to. He has to put everyone else on that right hand side. And if we have to go down the left for the you know seventy percent of our game because on the right hand side is poor, then so be it. But when you move Rashford out there, exactly. You know, you, yes, you balance the side out, but you bad you reduce its quality. You balance it, and it all comes down to like say forty percent um uh, attacking output, as opposed to being heavily weighted to 70, 80 to you know a twenty thirty percent. You can't do that. I think you need to read Rashford on that left hand side, and you say Greenwood get find some form, go out there. Uh, Dan James, Mata, Van der Beek. I don't see why he doesn't even try Van der Beek out there because if you're gonna try one Mata out there. You can try Van der Beek. I don't see the issue there. But on top of that, it, beside that alone, Rashford also has to do better. I think wherever you're playing on the pitch, there's just certain things where you, when you get the ball and you're passing it off or your decision-making in those certain positions, you still have to do better. Because we know that when Rashford plays on the left, he doesn't stay on the left. They do switch anyway. So does that mean every time you switch, exactly. you become ineffective on the right? He still has mm. to do better. But I agree 100%. You play your best players in your best position. And we saw when McTominay came off, and Pogba moving to the middle, we were better because our best players yeah. are in their best position. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him for putting Pogba out wide, but I would, as I said in the preview, I would have put him on the right right wing like he did against um, Liverpool and leave Rashford on the left. Bits and do you know why you do that, though? Go on. So, sorry, Terry. Do you know why you do oh. do that, though, when you put Pogba on the right? You've got Cedric playing out of position, okay? You get someone... If you're seeing Rashford put him out there, you say, you run at this guy... 100 times, 10 out of 10, you keep running at this guy, keep running at him, keep running at him. He's going to foul you, he's going to kick you. We'll take the book and he'll get sent off. You play on him, right? But why is it that when we were top of the league here, yeah, why is it all of a sudden we're trying things out now? Like we're some exhibition FC team or something. Rashford hasn't been playing right wing. I see David smiling, shut your mouth. Right? <laughs> I see, I see, see Rashford playing right wing, right, when we're top. Why are we trying things out here? This is not a friendly, this is not exhibition. You're trying to maintain... A title touch. You're in the conversation. You play right wing. You've been playing matter for the last two years in your duration on the right hand side. All of a sudden, now you want to put Rashford there. Why? Why are we doing this? At the end of the day, we play your best players in the best position. Football is a very, very simple game. Tactics are very, very simple. You play on the left, you play on the left. You don't come to the right. I don't know why Ollie's doing this, this fixing up or trying to uh, mix things up. Don't do that. Okay, you play your informed players in their for formations right now. And do you know who else I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for Luke Shaw. Because yeah. Luke Shaw and Rashford had a great partnership. They, they built up a great understanding in the tenure of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Now he's apart. Okay, Martial and Rashford are two different types of players. Okay, and mm -hmm. do you know what? We have to go with the informed player at the moment. And you play him in that mm -hmm. position. You know, if it means he has to sip the Lucas Aids or hand the fucking chocolates to the boys, that's all he has to do. But right now, we're um, we already know we're unbalanced. 
That's every every Tom Dick and Mohammed can tell you that. We know that. But yeah. let's play to our strengths. You know, putting him out there it's while he's because it's the best, the best Luke Shaw we've seen. And we're wasting him by having <sighs> every Tom Dick and Harry play left wing. It's bullshit, like, KJ. Wh- what, no why, why are you it's... lot so angry? Oh my god. Yo, David, David, Jesus you sit there. Christ. Nah, David, nah, don't Ooh, come here. No, don't no, no, play no, that, David. Don't come here. Don't get wait, just... yeah. No, no, don't come here, David, with your oh, why are you so when you when you would win games and complain about Mason Mount? Shut up. I, 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 Keep I, your mouth shut. <laughs> what, did, what, did I, what did I say before the game? I said it's gonna finish nil-nil, and the reasoning is you can't you can't bank on Cavani being the guy. I said yeah. it. Yeah, I said it with my chest because it's not David, obvious David, to see. Not, I don't know why discuss- you're angry because regardless of what happened today, you should have won. It's not like it was anything wrong with the tactics. You just didn't execute. That, 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 like, yeah, but no one's complaining about Oli. Are we? Of course, that's the reason, to be, David. Course, that's the reason to be angry yeah. because our players again in another big important game failed to deliver. Some of that is them. Cavani's misses are unforgivable, and they're not even. If he had like you know one on ones, the goalie can save him. The man couldn't get a tap in from six yards on target. It's easy, you know. It rem- do you know what it reminded? It reminded me of the Liverpool game when we had the, the Bruno Fernandez chance and the Pog. But the, the chances were almost carbon copies of each other. Ollie's system mm. works in these games. The reason we won so many last year and haven't done it this year is players haven't delivered. You know the irony. The irony is the people haven't had the brilliant moments because that's what wins you games of football. The same as if you stop breathing, you actually die. 